in hospital, it's not just the doctors and nurses who help to get you fixed. There are lots of other heroes working behind the scenes. Ah, yes! What will happen when we have a go at their amazing jobs? Useless. This is Operation Takeover. When you're a patient, life can be a bit boring, so it's important to keep upbeat and entertained on the wards. Today's hospital heroes help with that. They are Radio Lollipop DJs Dom and Chaminda. They're hosts on the Evelina Children's Hospital radio station, which broadcasts just for the patients to cheer them up and reduce stress, which is good for health. It is Thrilling Thursday. I'm really excited. We have some very special guests coming in later. <gasps> I think they're talking about us, Chris. Let's say hello. Are we live now? Absolutely. Yes. Hi, kids. So, what is it like? doing hospital radio. It's great fun. The children love it as well, and if they're having fun, then we have the most fun. As a kid, being in hospital is not the most exciting place to be, so it takes them away from the whole hospital environment. What I want to know is what are the ingredients of a really good radio show? I reckon you guys should go upstairs on some awards, find out firsthand from our listeners what makes a really good radio show. That's a brilliant idea. OK, let's hit the wards and get... The top three tips to being a hospital radio show host. In at number three... Try to be funny a little bit. Good luck with that one, Zand. Oi, what's at number two? Do you get singing? Do you think that the DJ should sing or do you think we should just play the records? Sing. Really? Uh-oh. And finally, top of the charts is... Don't embarrass yourself. That's easy for me. A little bit less easy for doctors aren't. Thanks, Toller. And thank you, Summer. So we found out just how important the job of hospital radio host really is. But have we got what it takes to be on the same wavelength as the real professionals? Get it? Wavelength? It's time for us to be hospital radio hosts. So your challenge today is to take over the airwaves for 10 minutes each and then we want to see how you handle a special guest. Right, this should be trivial. And I have a special guest in mind who I think will give me an enormous advantage. Why don't I have a guest? Why am I going to get a guest? Better go find a guest. I have a professional DJ as my guest. It's Radio 1 Extra DJ Yasmin Evans. And I am going to thrash Dr Zahn as a result. Not so fast, Chris. Meet the judges. They're tuned in, ready to pick a winner. Who's the best? They decide. Bring it on. I'll go first. What time is it? It's Dr Christo! <laughs> Hospital Radio's number one Operation Ouch-based show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dr Chris show. I have with me Yasmin Evans. How are you, Yasmin? I'm very well. How Good. are you? I thought I'd been really clever inviting you along because you could really help me out. And yes. In fact, it's just piled and piled on the pressure. I first go as a DJ. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to turn these up. And now we can hear Justin That's Bieber. Justin Bieber. We're talking over it. But can they still hear us? They can take us down. Oops. I wonder if anyone noticed. It's a good job Yasmin's here. This is a nightmare. Chris has already got a guest and I don't have one. Where am I going to get a guest at such short notice? OK, I'm going to try and work the screen. I'm sorry, everyone listening. I hope I'm not losing the judges. Uh, that's Nick no, Jonas. That's Nick Jonas. Ah, there's so many buttons. I got that. Thank goodness Zahn still doesn't have a guest. Hang on, I've spotted someone. It's Laverne the housekeeper. Can I, can I stop you cleaning? Will you be a guest on my radio show? Oh, I'll think of it. You'll be all right? Yep. Come on, then, come with me. Okay. Off we go. Phew, just in the nick of time. And for all the judges out there, I guess I want to leave you with the thought um, how much better this has been than Dr Zahn <laughs> is going to be. Thanks a lot, everyone. <laughs> Bye. I must say, that is, it's phenomenally stressful. Give me five. Beat that, Zand. Over to you. Hey, everybody, it's Dr Zand. Oh. One thing's for sure, I'll give it a go. It's time for Dr Zand's amazing radio show! This is Dr Zand, and let me tell you, I'm going to make your eardrums burst. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. OK, that'd be bad. I'm going to give you dandruff. How about that? See, Chris? I can be funny. If you say so. We have an incredible guest. The world famous, the one, the only, Laverne Lodrick. Laverne, how are you doing? Hi there, Doctor. Good evening. I'm going to play some relaxing music. How's that going? Boom, 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 boom. Ah! 
The judges wanted singing. Cos up, down, folk, don't give it to you! Cos up, down, folk, don't give it to you! Yes, but you are 100% embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the food like in the hospital? Well, I've never tasted the patient food. <laughs> <laughs> never stolen food off a, off a, a poorly oh, child. No, no. That's a do bad that. thing to no. do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I have done that occasionally. What? You can't do that. You're wonderful. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Time to admit defeat, Chris. Let's get the verdict. So, guys, tell us who the winner is. No! Oh! 4-1 in your face. You love me. You really do love me. So, judges, what did you like about my show? It was a little bit more funny. Well, it wasn't really you, it was more of your, um, specialty desk. Ha! <laughs> huh, you got lucky, Zand. Well, we've seen just how important the job of radio hosts like Dom and Chaminda are to the running of the hospital. And although I did a lot better than you, according to the listening public, I think it is best left to the experts. Have the headphones back, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thanks, Thank you. Ouch! Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs help. All over the UK, there are special teams of professionals trained to tackle medical mysteries. And not all of them are human. When I get ready in the morning, I barely give it a second thought. The task of putting on shoes and socks might seem easy to most of us, but for some people, this is a real challenge. I'm meeting 13-year-old Grace. Grace, how are you doing? Grace, like Ellie we met earlier, has cerebral palsy, a brain condition that affects muscle control and movement. In Grace's case, both her movement and speech are affected, and she often needs the use of a wheelchair to help her get around. Hang on, was Grace texting with her toes? Cool. Uh, what do you think you find harder to do in a day than, than I would? Anything to do with my hands, picking. Things up. Picking things up. Uh, Is it frustrating not to be able to pick things up or? Yeah, very frustrating. Apparently you have a special someone who helps you do stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Gary. Oh, hello. So who's this? Gary. Hello, how are you doing? Scooby isn't just cute. He's a professionally trained assistance dog whose job is to help Grace. After seeing assistance dogs on BBC's Children in Need, Grace knew that one would help improve her life, so she contacted the charity Dogs for Good. Scooby helps Grace in everyday tasks. He can open doors... Thank you. ..pull off her socks... Wow! And look, he even helps her get out of bed in the morning. That's amazing. <laughs> so, Scooby, up, up. <laughs> Does he make the bed as well? No. Dogs don't do that. <laughs> Mum Simone has seen a massive difference in Grace since Scooby arrived. He's a calming presence for her. If she's in a bad mood, if she's come home from school in a bad mood, he meets her at the door and he just makes her laugh straight away because he sniffs the wheelchair for her leftover lunch. There's a lot of responsibility having a dog for a kid as well, so you're kind of forced to be a bit more independent. Grace will wash Scooby's food bowl, she'll wash his water bowl, make sure he's got fresh water every day. Scooby also encourages Grace to go outside and be more active. Has he changed how much you get out of the house? Yeah. Before I would only go out maybe once a week. You go out of the house once a week before you got Scooby? Yeah. Wow. And now how often do you go out of the house? Every day. That's a massive difference. And do you feel better because of that? Yeah. Get you better at football? Yeah. Scooby makes such a difference. He helps Grace's independence, he keeps her fit, and he's her best mate. Have you got any nicknames for Scoob, Grace? BDF. BDF? What does that stand for? Best dog forever. Best dog forever? I think that's probably right. It's great to know assistance dogs like Scooby can make such a difference. It's amazing to see how helpful Scooby is. I wonder if he could take over from Dr Chris for a while. What do you think, Scoob? Oi, 